It's almost 6.30. You're watching East Midlands Today. Tonight, could cannabis help combat brain cancer? These experts in Nottingham want to find out how a single unique compound derived from cannabis plants might help in the fight against children's brain tumours. Good evening. Welcome to Tuesday's programme with Dominic Hill and me, Gita Pense. Good evening. First tonight, the four-year-old boy whose brain tumour shrank dramatically while he was taking a cannabis compound treatment. Before the big improvement in his condition, William Frost's mum and dad were told their son would die from his cancer. Well, this big change inspired scientists at the University of Nottingham. And now they're hoping to gather evidence that would prove chemicals derived from cannabis can in fact kill brain tumour cells. Well, our health correspondent Rob Sissons has more. Yes, Geeta, Dominic, this is a case that has really got doctors talking. It's fascinating as to why this child, William's tumour, has gone down in size so much. Could it be to do with the cannabis oil that he's been taking? Could it be to do with a special diet? That's what experts at the Nottingham Queen's Medical Centre Children's Brain Tumour Research Unit behind me now hope to investigate. William was diagnosed with a brain tumour three years ago and after two major operations, his mum and dad at Newark were warned to expect the worst. Tumour was still growing, so in about April we were told last year that there wasn't anything else that the NHS could offer. Hilary and Steve, though, were determined not to give up. We started William on a ketogenic diet, which has been supported by QMC. Um, that in itself is very hard because it means William can't eat a lot of carbohydrates. And they came across this, cannabis oil treatment. It cost £2,000 for nine months' supply, prescribed privately. But they say the potential benefits are priceless. We uh, found a private clinic who um, offered to give him synthetic uh, cannabidiol, which is uh, one of the compounds of, of cannabis that's non-psychoactive. Non and we've had William on that now for almost a year. And what a difference a year makes. These were the scans in April uh, 2016, a year ago, with the tumour and the swelling, and here's the tumour now, considerably smaller. Williams' consultant wants to gather evidence on the cannabis compound, cannabidiol, to see if it can really make a difference. I know this is a multifactorial case. The child had radiotherapy and is on the ketogenic diet, which we, again, theoretically think may be a benefit. But we want to tease out to see whether the cannabidiol may be important and even whether it might be important in conjunction with the ketogenic diet. The university's already raised over half the £100,000 it needs to start the research work. They want to test whether the compound kills cancerous brain tumour cells. Back in Newark and William's parents have set up their own website to support other families and plan to continue the treatment for now. Even if it is just an extra sort of six months um, that we've had a brilliant time with William, it's, it's been worth every penny. And Rob, this is not the first time that cannabis has been tested for medicinal purposes, is it? Not at all, Geeta. I've reported years ago from Nottingham's Queen's Medical Centre on tests that were going on to do with multiple sclerosis. And these days there is one prescription medication available for people with MS to ease muscle pain that's based on cannabis substances. There is also research going on into glaucoma and across the pond in the United States of America there's also a medication for epilepsy. That's for people who haven't responded well to conventional drug therapy. It's interesting work in Nottingham but they've got to get more money if they're to do a full-scale trial but they are well on the road to doing some initial work. Okay Rob, thank you very much.